Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to program the Yesu VXX for a repeater. Okay, the first thing you want, of course, is you got to know your frequency for the repeater. That frequency is the frequency that everybody's going to put to listen to the repeater. Okay, but before we type in the number, we got to turn on the automatic repeater shift, ARS. I'll tell you what that is. Um, after I set this. So let's press the F button and then the zero button. And then we got to scroll this wheel and then we go to ARS, automatic repeater shift. All right, we're gonna press the zero button and that's a menu number four. Press the zero button. It's off, let's turn it on. Press zero again and get you to the ARS the menu system and then press the PTT button. Okay, now it's possible that you have a sign here already, like a plus sign or a negative sign, or this A, this automatic repeater shift might have been turned on already, just fine. Okay, now let's type in the input frequency, what they call the output frequency, the listening frequency. Let's input that value. The frequency is 145. 400 and when you, I did this it automatically put a negative sign this is what the automatic repeater shift does it knows the range of frequencies will have pluses or minus in this case at this frequency there's going to be a minus and it's because we're in the two meter band it's going to be 600 kilohertz off the repeater is not what they call a true duplex like your phone where both people can talk and listen at the same time. In a repeater, one person speaks, everybody listens. And when that person's finished, then one, another person speaks, and then everybody listens. Everybody's listening at 145.400. The moment I press this button, as you can see, it goes off by negative 600 kilohertz. Um, and then everybody would be listening. Unfortunately, they're not listening to me. Not because it doesn't have an antenna, but because it doesn't have this thing called a private line or a special type of tone, a CTCSS, um, a tone that unlocks the repeater. Because anybody can have this frequency um, and with the automatic shift or the automatic repeater shift, and they can press this button, but the repeater wouldn't like it, wouldn't care. And it's listening to this to the tone that it needs. So, the tone will be part of the frequency that they give you for the repeater. And by the way, they'll also give you, um, if it's negative or positive, for the um, what they call the direction of the uplink, or the offset. Okay, in this case the offset is 600 kilohertz because it's 2 meters. Okay, so let's, uh, let's turn on this tone thing. We press F and then the mode button it's off let's turn it on uh, or let's turn on the tone you can see it has other values too but it should be on tone let's press mode okay now you have the T now we got to type in the frequency for the repeater the, this tone frequency so that is also given as well in this case we're going to type we're going to press F and 2, and uh, we can type in, let's say, 114.8. Let's say that's the tone. Press 2, and we're ready. So when we press and hold this button for a little bit and let it go, the repeater will hopefully come back to you, most repeaters do, and it'll talk to you or it'll send you a CW saying, hey, you are now, um, you know, ready to go with the repeater. So again, this value will be given to you in a book or online. This is the listening frequency. The negative is the offset. When I press the button, the machine automatically knows it's 600 mega, uh, 600 kilohertz off. You can see it's, you can see it's 600 minus 600 kilohertz. From 145, 400 is 1448. 
and then you will need some type of um, tone to unlock the repeater that's the T and that is if you go to F2 that's 114.8 okay so that should be um, all you need to get into the repeater now there's a few other things um, that you can do for simplex I would recommend doing a couple of things uh, not keep it in this mode there's also a manual mode that you can automatically put the negative uh, instead of letting the machine do it for you because sometimes again you want to be in simplex mode or sometimes you want to turn off that T right in um, when you're in simplex mode so I'm gonna have other videos that will describe that as well